Did not think I would be uh, doing this, but hey, you know what? Let's life is life is all about surprises. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new little Yachty album, Little Boat. Baby boat, little it's little boat. <coughs> little boat is the breakout mixtape from Atlanta rapper and singer. L Lil Yachty, a.k.a. Lil Boat. This tape has been making the rounds for the past few weeks, and I have spent that time span trying to make heads or tails of this thing. In one breath, this guy has a lot in common with your average auto-tuned Atlanta rapper and or crooner who wants to be the next future or young thug. But uh, Little Yacht takes it a step further and somehow creates a distinct sound within this very saturated trend in hip hop right now. Maybe the most recognizable and ear grabbing thing about uh, Lil Yachty's sound are his vocals. And uh, they're quite goofy. Almost like I'm listening to a just smoked out cartoon cat sing and rap his way through these songs. Vocally, I think he has things in common with like I Love McConan, maybe a, a fusion between I Love McConan and uh, Bangs, you know. I wanna take you to the movies. But what Little Yachty has that those two artists don't is self-awareness. He seems to be very well aware of how weird his vocals and his sound are. And he uses these shortcomings in his voice to create weird personality traits and quirks within his singing style. The production is airy, it's ethereal, it's glossy, it is infectiously blissful, although it, it does have some hard sub bass, some very tangible percussion, so it's not like it's washed out, 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 out. And there's nothing really in the track list here in terms of a legitimate banger. The song Up Next 2 comes the closest, but even that track is, is relatively relaxed in comparison with uh, I don't know, let's say any song that Migos have dropped. There is a, you know, an appearance from Quavo on here. This thing is like trap music's answer to lullabies. Sure, the sex and the money and the drugs and the references to violence are all here, but there's something <laughs> sort of sweet and warm and gentle about the way uh, the music, the production on this thing sounds, and the way Yachty delivers his vocals. I don't know, I just can't help but interpret his vocals as uh, cute. This is essentially pop rap and trap with kind of a soft side, and that soft side is reflected in the lyrics occasionally too. Not just the, the front cover here where he is looking like a member of Team Zizu. I mean, there's a real sense of innocence about this tape. I mean, the whole thing kicks off with a, a Finding Nemo sample. There are tracks on this thing about relationships and heartbreak, emotional betrayal. The song Out Late is a legitimately cute love song. Then there's the song Fucked Over and I'm Sorry and uh, Yachty's Breakout Hit One Night. The lyrics are occasionally silly and playful, especially from some of the featured rappers on here by you. Favorite verse on this thing. Uh, Picking up bars like I'm benching, catching a body like a cheerleader. But there are some other weird moments that Yachty brings to the table, like uh, <laughs> on one track here where it seems like he's giving a legitimately warm thank you to a lawyer who he paid eight grand to uh, win him a case. There's the song We Did It, the closer here, which is essentially a positivity anthem. And the last portion of the song Run Running, though I don't really care for uh, the first half of the track all that much, though I do like the production. It seems to sample the very airy woodwind leads from uh, some of the theme music from Mario 64. Love that video game, but moving on from there. The second half of this track is this sort of weird, beautifully melodic auto-tune interlude that reminds me of a weird fusion between, uh, again, lullabies, Kanye West, and Bon Iver. Also, keep in mind, Yachty himself uh, seems to believe, or at least states on the beginning of this tape, and a few other moments here, that he is two distinct personalities on this tape. Yachty is its own personality, and Boat is its own personality. And Yachty, according to Yachty, is the friendlier and the more, um, I guess, song-oriented of these two personalities. Much of the singing on here is done by Yachty, whereas Little Boat uh, is more aggressive and uh, more likely to be rapping. Does it make sense? Not really weird, yes, but it sort of adds up to just how strange 
uh, an oddball this record is. To just kind of cast Yachty off as just another weird, no-nothing, hedonistic, lean-sipping Atlanta rapper would be wrong, because underneath uh, some of the very obviously borrowed ideas from his flows to his production, which are very trendy, uh, there's some really weird shit going on. Yachty switches up between these two personalities pretty often. The tape isn't too one-sided toward the rapping or the relaxed songs, although I will say I think the, the, the biggest characteristic appeal of this album is how relaxing it is. That and the production. While Yachty's vocals do have character, a character that I like a lot, uh, his, his lyrics aren't exactly a selling point. Some of them are god-awful or just don't really make much sense. Diamond so cold, you might need a fan. What? You know, there was a point where I was sort of coming back to this tape occasionally over the past few weeks just to kind of have a giggle at it. And then after continually uh, laughing at it, I was like, wait a second. Am I kind of liking this? At one point, it was like sort of a weird novelty record to me, but now I'm sort of starting to appreciate it a little bit and it's scaring me. There are even tracks on here that like on paper, I just should not like at all, but they're some of the most charming moments on this tape to me, like the blissfully dumb aura around the song Good Day. And today's a good day, hey! Now I will admit, the vocals and the auto-tune do have their limitations. Yachty is a little one-dimensional, and the auto-tune can get excruciating, especially during that first half of the track, Run Running, where the melody that he sings, is there even a melody that he's singing here? I can't stand his vocals here almost. I'm just thinking, what are you doing? And there are moments here where, while I know Yachty is not a lyrical genius, uh, I wish that he just wrote a little more lyrics to sort of break up the monotony of not only verses that he just repeats because he doesn't write anything different for his next verse, or just refrains that he seems to repeat ad nauseum, like on the songs Wanna Be Us and Not My Bro. Also, the interlude track on here just merely feels like an unfinished song that was left on the record. While the song Fucked Over, like instrumentally and melodically, feels like a, a hybrid of One Night and Wanna Be Us, like at this point on the record. While I do like the two ending tracks, it's like Yachty is just running out of ideas. This thing could have been pared down a little bit, I think. Overall though, surprisingly, I like this thing. I, I like it, I enjoy it. I put it on and I play it, and I'm having fun listening to it. <laughs> this thing has some very obvious flaws, most of which are lyrical, but I think a lot like records such as Live Love ASAP or Trap Lord, these shortcomings are overcome with character, great production, personality, a little bit of a sense of humor. Like I'm listening to, I don't know, an old lo-fi pop record, like bedroom pop record or something. And the instrumentals are sloppy, the singing is terrible, but there's something really charming and lovely and heartfelt about the songs. I'm not saying you gotta like it, and believe me, uh, if you came to me up on the street and said, hey, that Yachty record sucks, I will say, hey, I understand, dude. I understand, I'm not gonna defend it. <laughs> I will leave it at that. I like the record, it's not perfect, it's not blowing my mind or anything, and I doubt he'll follow it up with an album I like quite as much. If he did, I would be surprised, but as of right now, I am feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. But maybe in the future, this thing will uh, either become one of my favorite records of the year, or uh, my, I don't know, I'll just do a total 180 on it and I'll hate it and I'll think it's the worst thing that was ever recorded. Um, yeah, my, my feelings on this record, I think, really could be that volatile because uh, there's just so much that I like about it and there's so much that I dislike about it. And some of the things I dislike about it, some of its weaknesses, I actually think end up being admirable, kind of quirky strengths in a way. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on this thing. Um, Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit that like if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yachty. A little boat. Forever.